education curriculum approved by Planned Parenthood is being used right now by teachers in Sacramento City Schools. The lesson plan encourages more supportive discussions about casual sex and eliminates women from pregnancy conversations to promote gender inclusive language. Uh, Jack Brewer is the CEO of the, uh, the Brewer Group and a former NFL player and joins us now. Uh, Jack, what do you make of this lesson plan? Uh, it should be shocking, but sadly it's not. Yeah, it's very sickening. You know, working with youth uh, as much as I do, uh, seeing these type of things is disturbing because you, uh, you, you understand the vulnerability of all of these kids and how young that they are, uh, kids that are trying to figure out and identify who they are. Uh, sexuality is something that's always a hard conversation, but it's one that when you bring in confusion, uh, you're bringing in manipulation. Uh, and manipulation is witchcraft. And I think that's something that we have to understand is that the spirituality of these children, uh, we are completely undermining. And uh, it's, it's having great results. I mean, I don't, no matter what you think about LGBT or transgender or all of that, uh, there was a study done in Canada that, that found that kids were five times more likely to commit suicide if they're a transgender. So when you start confusing these kids, you're, you're actually increasing the mental health issues of these children. And I think we all need to take a, a step back here uh, and evaluate uh, really where we, we align mor mor morality-wise uh, across our nation because uh, we, are, we are literally playing Russian roulette with the souls of our children. Well, from that Balenciaga story yeah. we just read before to now this Planned Parenthood study story, why are we hypersexualizing our kids? It's the only time in your life that you get to be innocent, and yet we're trying to ruin that as a society, and it makes no sense, Jack. Why is this happening? It, it makes no sense. And you're disrespecting women, first and foremost. Uh, you know, motherhood uh, is something that women are ordained to do, something so special. Uh, you, you're disrespecting family, uh, a family between a man and a woman, how God created us to make, uh, to make our children and reproduce. Uh, you're disrespecting all of that. And then to take the vulnerable children like this uh, and, and, and just to, to hijack their youth, completely rip them away from being able to be pure and youth and enjoy things and you, you're leaving them for a, a lifetime of torment. I mean, looking at these type of numbers, uh, another study showed that 50% of the LGBT community considers taking their lives, committing suicide. Those type of numbers are, should be disturbing. This should be a CDC health issue. Instead of Dr. Fauci talking about giving kids shots, uh, he, he needs to be on television talking about this health care crisis that we have going on with pushing all of this LGBT across our nation. Yeah. Uh, Jack, uh, I want to turn now to this on the education topic. Uh, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo made some comments about who he thinks the most dangerous person in the world is. He said it in an interview, quote, is it Chairman Kim? Is it Xi Jinping? The most dangerous person in the world is Randy Weingarten. It's not a close call. If you ask who's the most likely to take this republic down, it would be the teachers unions and the filth that they're teaching our kids and the fact that they don't know math and reading or writing. Uh, Weingarten responded on Twitter saying, I know that Mike Pompeo is running for president, and frankly, I don't know whether to characterize his characterization of me in the interview as ridiculous or dangerous. What do you make of Pompeo's language here? Do you think he was too harsh? Not at all. What Mike Pompeo was warning Americans is that we are in a spiritual battle. Uh, and uh, these, this teachers union uh, is right at the heart and soul of the spiritual battle of our nation. Uh, because if you teach children and indoctrinate them the way that we're doing right now in these schools across America, uh, the likelihood of our republic standing and us having a successful uh, nation uh, is diminished. And I think that's what you're seeing right now. You're, all these things, this lady and their entire organization is the result of the lawlessness that you see in the streets. The ability for children to speak to the adults the way that they do and for them to go around and act the way that they do, it comes from what we're teaching them in school. We have an obligation to these kids. Uh, and then you start talking about the fatherlessness issue and the fact that many of these kids don't even have two parents to come home to. They don't have stable homes anymore. Or we're battling inflation and all these other economic issues. And 
And so the school has become even more important. And so if we can't treasure our youth uh, and start to really stand up for for their foundational skills, uh, then the likelihood of the America having the dreams uh, that we've all been accustomed to uh, is diminished. And, and we need to do something about that. So I applaud uh, the words of Mike Pompeo. Yeah, notice that Randy Weingarten didn't respond to the specifics in Pompeo's accusation, what they're teaching our kids and the low skill levels in math, reading and writing. That is pretty telling. Jack Brewer, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Now to a